Hi there, I'm Lee, welcome to iMind Blocks. In this video I'll be sharing with you how to fix and solve the problem of stale, invalid or rejected shares uh, with your mining programs. And just before we continue, um, what is a reasonable number of stale or invalid shares? Anything less than um, just a few percent is very good. Um, if you have anything above 5% in stale or invalids, I would say that's a, that's a problem that needs to be uh, corrected. Let's um, discuss stale shares, what that means and how to fix it. So stale shares are when the pool sends you the work to be completed by your local miner. You complete the work of using your local miner, your mining hardware, and you submit that information back to the pool, but you don't submit it in a reasonable amount of time. So that means that you're completing the work, but you're not completing the work fast enough. A stale share is most often caused by a network uh, configuration or network lag or latency. There's a few things that you can do to fix your stale share problem. So if you have a stale share problem, this is what you need to do to fix it. So most pools have a range of pool locations. So for example, when mining Ethereum, I use the Ethermine pool. That pool has servers located in the European uh, zone, Asia, and also U the U United States. So what you need to do for most people is a simple case of choosing the pool server that is closest to you. So obviously if you're in America, you would choose a US pool. If you're in Asia, choose an Asia pool. Europe, choose a European pool. But you can also check the ping or the latency between you and the pool that you want to connect to. So this is a good way to verify that your connection between you and the pool is either good or bad. Um, and what you need to do is run a command line program so you just press Windows key and R, and then you can use the ping command. Of details on how to do that in the video description, I'll also show you a screen capture of exactly what that looks like. So what you want to do is test one by one, test your local pools or a range of different pools. You're gonna ping each one of those in turn and see which one has the lowest latency time back to you. Anywhere between 100 to 200 milliseconds is a good time. If it's above 200 milliseconds, you might want to consider switching to another pool. If it's in sort of the 500 milliseconds, uh, you definitely don't want to be using that pool. That's going to cause you stale issues. So that's the connection between you and the pool. If you find that you're pinging each of the, your local pools um, and you've tried a, a wide range of pools and the, uh, the latency is still quite high across a wide range of pools, what that can indicate is that you have a local uh, connection issue. Um, one of the reasons for that could be if you're using a local Wi-Fi network. So if you have your miners connected to your local Wi-Fi, you could have um, like a local uh, latency um, within, within your, your local network. So one of the things that you can do if you're using Wi-Fi, again, check that ping if that ping is high across a wide range of services. Check it on other websites and stuff too. And if that ping is still high, it could be caused uh, down to your Wi-Fi. You can also use extended um, tools to kind of pinpoint exactly where that latency issue is. But if you are using Wi-Fi, um, I would recommend, you know, point your finger at that because that could be where your issue is. Um, what I use um, at home is uh, these. These are power line adapters. So the way they work is they come in pairs, you plug in one to your mains power socket and you plug it into your, uh, your router or your ADSL box, cable modem, whatever you have. And the other end you plug in to your miner. So they come in pairs, one at each end, and what that's going to do is give you a wired network connection via your mains power system. And that reduces a lot of the local latency. So if you're having issues with lag, and you might also get it in games and things like that. So if you're having Wi-Fi lag issues, then these power line adapters, they're not very expensive, then they work really well, and they'll really fix that lag issue. So next up, let's talk about rejected or invalid shares. So they're one and the same thing. If you look on your local miner, you'll see that it has a number of accepted shares, and it also has a R, which indicates rejected shares. So a rejected share is when you do work at a local miner or via the mining software, you submit it to the pool, the pool but the, the share of your work is rejected. And it's rejected because you haven't done the work properly or the miner hasn't done the work properly or the hardware hasn't done the work properly. So the most common cause of high numbers of rejected shares is you are mining using the wrong software on the wrong pool or algorithm. 
So for example, if you try to connect to a Zcash pool using an Ethereum miner or vice versa, you'll be getting and receiving lots of work, you'll be computing the work, but you'll be sending back the work and it's the wrong work for the wrong pool or the wrong algorithm. So that is what causes the, the most number of rejected shares. You'll see this if you are sort of computing on your work and all you see is purely like 99% all rejected work, then it's most likely a problem with your minor configuration, you're on the wrong algorithm or you're mining to the wrong pool, there's something wrong with your settings there. So that's the main issue. Another thing that can cause a high number of rejected shares, but not to such a degree, if you're sort of getting you know, 5, 10% rejected shares, one of those other reasons can be caused by your hardware configuration. So if you're using GPU mining, if you have your GPU core or memory clocks very high, or your power limit is too low, or you're old and volatile in the cards, you can also get rejected shares because the hardware is having problems computing the correct hashes and you know, sending that information back to the pool. So that's another issue that can cause um, high numbers of rejected shares. You can also look for memory configuration if you, whilst you're mining, if you have very high load on your memory or your CPU, that too can also cause high numbers of rejected shares. So look for those areas if you're having you know, rejected share issues. Okay, so that's it for this video. That's just a, a few helpful hints and tips for you to help reduce those numbers of stale or rejected invalid shares. Hopefully it's been useful to you and um, you enjoyed watching. Thanks very much. I'll see you guys on the next video.